Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. We are at the range. We are currently sighting in the Bear Creek Arsenal 65 Creedmoor Upper uh, Aero Precision M5 Lower. And we're just getting an initial zero. Uh, we're going to take it out to 50 yards and then 100 yards. And I'm really just, I'm just starting off with a 25 yard um, zero, which is really, really close. But I wanted to make sure we could at least get it on the paper. Uh, ammunition for today is uh, loaded by garage guns for us. Let's get the box in view here. Here you go. It is a 130 grain molly coated uh, full metal jacket bullet pushing 2,850 feet per second out of the barrel. Now we're going to chrono that in a little bit here and see what happens. Again, uh, chambered by six, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. And there's a uh, contact info for you about garage guns if you want to pick up some of that ammo. And uh, it is a very nice round. Uh, the rifle is running just fine. We have no hiccups, no problems whatsoever. And we'll get some live shooting footage here once we take it out to 100 yards. I think I said maybe this was a 20-inch barrel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're running a 1 and 8 twist. It's a stainless steel barrel. Now, that's an LR pattern lower, and we are using the Magpul LR uh, 308 mags, 762 by 51. No feeding issues, no problems. I'm going to get this thing zeroed, and then we're going to go out to 50, and then we'll go out to 100. So hang tight, guys. All right, velocity testing the Garage Gun 6.5 Creedmoor, 130 grain molly coated bullets. Uh, box is rated at 28.50. Here we go, going hot. Twenty-seven seventy-one. Twenty-seven seventy-one. Twenty-seven oh seven. All right, last round. Here we go. And twenty-seven thirteen. So we're down just a little bit. I'm not sure if that was tested on a twenty-four inch barrel or a twenty inch barrel, but uh, we're within about one hundred and twenty-five feet per second. Not bad. She's a solid shooter. Okay, so the first three shots are the uh, the group that you see here on the left. That's uh, half an inch um, at 25 yards. Really no big deal. I did another four clicks on the scope, and this is all I did. I did another eight clicks on the scope, and this is where it put it. Probably going to see what it does at 50 yards, make some more fine-tooth adjustments, and then we'll take it out to 100 and fire up the cameras, and uh, we'll see how the shooting goes. But so far, uh, that arrow lower has been great with the upper, the Bear Creek Arsenal upper. Uh, it is locking open on empty with those Magpul mags and no issues whatsoever. Granted, only talking six shots, but that's always promising when it runs well right out of the box. All right, so this is my uh, my 50 yard uh, side in here. This is where we're at. So again, just 50 yards. So I, these are the first three shots that I took, and I made some adjustments. A couple clicks to the right, a couple clicks down, and we've got another three shots that are basically all stacked on top of each other. I did go two more clicks to the right and one click down. So we're going to see if we can't hit some bullseyes here. When we go out to 100 yards, we'll see. I might have to make some modifications to it. Might shoot a little higher, low at 100, but we're getting there. Uh, it's pretty much walking the dog over to the bullseye, so hang in there, guys.
Okay, so we just wanted to uh, do 15 rounds here, heat the barrel up a little bit. And my, my gun was shaking a little bit and I didn't have my lead sled with me. But let me just show you my first three shots. After I had it zeroed as good as I could possibly get it, we're looking at uh, sub one inch. It's not bad. Kind of a ragged hole there on these two. Almost overlapped each other. Then I believe I went to the top left. And this is, you can see, where we're looking at about an inch right there. And then over here off to the side. Let's see here. So that's almost, almost a two inch spread. Okay. You gotta remember guys, I'm not, this is the first time I've ever fired this with this ammo. I haven't really had, uh, had a lot of practice with it, just 40 rounds down the pipe, but the gun was reliable and that's what matters to me. It does shoot good and you can learn to shoot it better. Okay, so we're looking at, uh, just go center to center here. And the last one I had a flyer. Man, I just am not used to how light that trigger is. For a mil-spec trigger, it's surprising how uh, how light it is. So that was that was pretty ugly, but here at the very end we did have a nice tight groove. So just a little more practice uh, really does show you what this thing is capable of doing. It's not bad. This is just 100 yards, okay? And uh, obviously there's always people out there that can shoot better than me, but it is a good start. All right, so let's just have a few final words about the uh, Bear Creek Arsenal uh, Aero Precision 6.5 Creedmoor rifle. Um, you know, hey, I was shooting, you know, under one inch at 100 yards. I'm perfectly happy with that for just considering my first time I've ever taken this out to the range. The rifle performed well. We had no issues whatsoever. Again, the main thing for me is, is this thing even going to cycle? Is it going to function? Because again, we're mating, you know, two different pieces from two different brands. And, you know, in terms of having like a mil spec compatibility, you know, things are kind of across the board when it comes to the uh, AR-10 and the LR pattern rifle. Sometimes these can be kind of finicky and you got to do a little bit of playing around with them to get them to function the way you want to. Uh, the scope that we used again one more time was the Vortex Diamondback uh, 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Okay, it ran really well. Uh, the glass was nice and clear. Again, I was a little shaky when I was shooting, and uh, I didn't have my usual lead sled, so that might be one of the reasons why we didn't quite have the accuracy I was hoping for, but we did have a nice tight sub one inch group or one inch group at 100 yards, and that's good. So why spend the money and why invest in a platform like this? I mean, after all, we're talking, you know, $550, $600 upper, $300 lower, got to get your glass, got to get your magazines. If you're somebody who's already invested in the AR platform, even an AR-15, there is some parts compatibility, which uh, can offset some of those costs, which is a great thing. Uh, you do need to look it up and see, like, which parts in lower receiver are compatible or upper receiver, if anything at all. There might be some things that you can use. Um, also, if you're a fan of 6.5 Creedmoor, I mean, it is a flat-firing, fast, hard-hitting round. And it is really hard to, uh, you know, to say that uh, ballistically it's inferior <laughs> in terms of, of a long-distance round or uh, even for hunting from a tactical standpoint. So kind of keep that in mind, you know, and in terms of hunting, I mean, this is a very heavy rifle, but it's also a very stable platform. If, again, if you're a fan of 6.5, if you reload it, uh, that would also be something to consider, too. Maybe you're just a fan of the round and you just want to dabble with it, go right ahead. Uh, again, we got the 1 and 8 twist and I believe 20 inch barrel on this and recoil really felt a lot like 308. It does kind of kind of slam a little bit, but it's not really uncomfortable, but it was reliable and it ran well. Now, like I said before, or maybe I did mention this in the beginning of the video, um, Bear Creek Arsenal did send me this upper uh, to test out on the channel to use to play around with. And I think we need to stretch it out a little bit more and see what it can really do. I mean, the scope is plenty powerful for the 100 yards I was shooting at and we can take it out even further. So we're definitely going to do that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Bear Creek Arsenal, thank you so much for sending this upper. I'll put a link to the upper in the, uh, in the chat box for you if you guys are interested and you want to go check it out. There may be a discount code you can use on it. If there is, it's going to be TravisP11. And that code would either get you a small percentage off the rifle or free shipping. But i got to contact Bear Creek about that first. They've done that for the, upper, the other uppers that I've tested on this channel. And we'll see if they'll do it for this one, too. But otherwise, I think that's it, guys. So make sure you like and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check out my podcast called Caliber Corner. We do that Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Time. We just talk guns and ammo. And uh, I think that's it. So have fun. Be safe, guys. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Oh, and last thing, Garage Guns. You guys make some excellent ammunition. And again, I did buy the ammunition. It was not free. Uh, the t-shirt was free, but uh, I do buy the ammo for them. They make a wicked, wicked little hand load for the 6.5 Creedmoor. Make sure you check them out. Contact info is down below. You guys have fun, be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.